4-5, practice some problem solving over equations with rational numbers. Rational numbers are like fractions and decimals, guys. Now listen, when you're doing algebra, you want to get x by itself. So you want to cancel out everything, get x by itself. And you also need to remember, you got to keep everything balanced. And whatever you do on one side, you must do on the other. Now this is how I learned it when I was a kid. Then I'll show you how Envision's showing you. Okay, so we have x minus 3.1 equals 4.6. Now, the inverse of subtracting 3.1, that's adding 3.1. Now, look, that cancels out to 0. Now, you have x by itself, but I have to do it on this side of the equal sign, too. See the equal sign? Well, now I messed it up, didn't I? <laughs> There's the equal sign. Kind of looks like a bunch of scribbles. So, I add 3.1 here. Now, look. This canceled out to zero, right? So now you have x all by itself equals, um, this is seven and seven. So equals 7.7. .7. And then you want to check it. 7.7 .7 minus 3.1 equals 4.6. So that checks. And then you put a check mark. That's how I did it as a kid. A little neater than that. Um, it was hard writing on the screen. And look. Here's how Envision does it. They, um, the inverse of subtract, so this is the original equation, right? And the inverse of subtracting 3.1 is adding 3.1, so it's the same thing. I mean, I like my way better, but this is how we do it. And if you add 3.1 here, you got to add 3.1 here. So then you get 7.7. Uh, so notice, whatever you do on one side, you're adding 3.1 and you're adding 3.1. These canceled out to zero, okay? Got it? Good. I only picked a couple problems to, to do for you. Remember, if, if you have any ones with fractions, you got to find a common denominator, like the least common multiple, least common denominator. All right, maybe we'll do one. Here, the original equation here is... And they wrote it on the right side, 1.5y equals 4.5. Usually I would do it like this, right? I'm so used to it like this. But they're doing it to show you that you can do it the other way too. So the inverse of multiplying, so you have a, a coefficient and a variable. The inverse of multiplying so the coefficient means to multiply the variable. So 1.5 times y. The inverse of multiplying, I'm mean, going to get it out, is dividing. So you have to divide by 1.5 on both sides. So first we're going to divide by 1.5 here. And what that does is, um, is it becomes 1. And then 1 times y is y. So we successfully got y by itself. And then if we divide by 1.5 on the right side, we got to divide by 1.5 on the left side. Go ahead and just uh, use a calculator to get these. But this is like 45 divided by 15 is 3. 4.5 divided by 1.5 is also 3. So you probably do it in your head. Not all of these, though. You should have definitely have a math notebook out. I mean, look at this, guys. Look, what's the inverse of dividing by 4.56, 4, uh, 4 and 56 hundredths? So y divided by 4 and 56 hundredths equals 1.5. So in your math notebook, this is what I would do. Um, and then times... 4.56. That cancels out equals, and then you have to do 1.5 times 4.56. And then I ran out of space there. And then just um, plug that in your calculator. 1.5 times 4.56. And you get uh, 6.84. 6 and 84 hundredths. Okay, so think inverse operations. The inverse of dividing is multiplying. The inverse of adding is subtracting. Okay, good. I'm glad this one came up. This is for you. 7 and 1 eighths equals 5 and 6 sevenths plus n. 
Well, what's the inverse of adding five and six sevenths? We're going to subtract. So we're going to subtract five and six sevenths. That cancels out. Subtract five and six sevenths. And now we have seven, two, I'll magnify this, seven and one eighths minus five and six sevenths. Let me just clean this up a little bit in case this is the thumbnail. I don't want to look sloppy. All right. Listen, guys. So many of my students are forgetting how to do this. And that's okay. That's okay. I mean, we, we're in a pandemic. So, I mean, uh, so let me go over how to subtract and borrow. We're going to have to borrow in this example. We're going to have to find a common denominator. This is what you came for. All right, check this out. What's the least common multiple of 8 and 7? They could list 8, 16, 24, 32, so on and so forth, okay? And then 7, 14, 21, uh, so on and so forth. And then you try to find a match, which is uh, save you some time. It's 56. So watch, guys. Watch this. The denominator is 56, okay? And I'm just saying 1 8 is equal to this. So what? Um, we multiply by 7 here. We got multiply by 7 on the numerator to get 756. We have to have a common denominator, common denominator, common denominator. Multiply by 8 here times 8 here. And we get 48. Now look at this, guys. 7 minus 48, that would be like a negative. So we got to borrow, guys. I'm going to just put this in red to show its importance. I cross out the 7 and make it a 6. It's kind of an orange color. I do realize that. Now we have to add a whole. So I'm going to add a whole, but the denominator has to be 56, and it's got to equal 1. So 56 over 56 equals 1. I'll make it into a 1. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? That's what my teachers used to do when I was a little boy. So that's a 56. Um, 7 plus 56 is uh, 63 over 56. So what we did here was we borrowed a one hole from that, which was 56 over, that's how we got the 63. So now 63 minus 48 is what? Okay, so let's do that. 63 minus 48, and you get 15 out of 56. And now 6 minus 5 is 1. So you get 1 and 15, 56. So 1 and 15 out of 56. Whew. Look at that. Look at all that work. Hopefully you have your math notebook out. Because we don't want to plug that in the calculator. I know you can. I know you can look it up and do it. Um, I have a calculator here that you can just plug in fractions. I like you to know how to do that whole process, okay? I think doing that whole process is a good reminder of what to do. And we're going to do it again. So the inverse of adding 5 and 3 fourths is subtracting 5 and 3 fourths. So you have 9 and 1 6 minus 5 and 3 fourths. All right, let's find a least common multiple, uh, which is the least common denominator. 6, 12, 18, 24. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Now, you'd think it was 24, and actually 24 would work, but um, the least common denominator is 12. So 12, and I had times 2 on the denominator, times 2 on the uh, multiply by 2 on the numerator, and you get two 12s, and times 3, times 3, and 9 12s. Ha! Huh. Wouldn't you know it? They engineered the problem so that you have to borrow, which this is what's, this is what's holding you up. I'm going to do sky blue for you. Watch, you're going to have to borrow 8. That becomes an 8. And we're going to add 12 over 12, which is equal to 
1. So we get 14 twelfths. And I don't know why I put that there. I'm going to have to erase it. Ah! Is there an undo? You know what? That happens, guys. That happens. Nine in, um, f or wait, what was it? I'm not going to throw the computer through the window. Don't worry. <laughs> Eight and 14 twelfths minus five and... <laughs> I'm smiling. Nine twelfths. Fourteen minus nine is five twelfths. Ooh, look at that. And then eight minus five is three. Whew. See? No big deal, right, guys? No big deal. We got it. We got this. We can do this. More fractions. Now the inverse of subtract x minus 3 and 5 6 equals 5 and 6 7. So we're going to add. The inverse of subtracting is adding. Add 3 and 5 6 on the left side. Add 3 and 5 6 to the right side. So essentially what we have is 5 and 6 sevenths plus 3 and 5 6. We have 7 and um, 7 and that's my wife calling me. Um, she's like, are you coming home for dinner? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm helping my students out right here. Hey guys, hope you uh, like these videos. Hope someone watches them and gets something out of them. Uh, here we go. So uh, just to skip ahead, 42 is the common denominator. And we multiply by 6 here, multiply by 6 here. Multiply by 7, we got 35. So now we add them up. 36 and 35 is 71 over 42. Now look, I'm going to pull a hole out. A hole is 42 out of 42 and add it. So we're going to get 9. I'll just go this way with it. Nine. And um, when I pull out a 42 over 42, it's like doing 71 minus 42, which is 29. So we have 29 over 42. Okay, let's put that in. Nine and 29 out of 42. All right, guys. We did it. It's time to eat. Time for dinner. I'll see you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.